jiggle bones in 60 seconds. We need three bones, a control bone, a target bone, and a deformation bone. We now need to add in an empty and make it track the end of the control bone, like this. We then add a cube, then give a geometry node, and then add the empty to the graph. Let's now set the position to the location of the empty, and let's now do some simulation. So let's get the location of the empty and let's put it over here. Let's now make it available for the next frame. We now want to compare the difference between the current location and the previous location, and we can do this by subtracting it. We now want to create a loop within the simulation, and I want to add the offset that we just calculated to it. Now to reset the offset over time, let's add a skill node with a lower value. We can now use the output of this loop to set the offset with a transformation node. The cube should now kind of follow like so, but we want it to jiggle. So let's compare the offset at the end of the previous frame with the current frame. And then we want to add this difference to the offset. So let's drag this around and connect this up. This will now make it overshoot a little, creating this jiggle effect. Let's now make the tracker follow the cube and then them track the deformation bone to the tracker. Now parent it to the control bone and there you go. You can also add a stretch to constraint to add a bit of stretching because you know, well, you know.